Well, joining us now is Father Dennis Gill. He's the rector and pastor of the Cathedral Basilica of St. Peter and Paul, where the beautiful shrine for St. Catherine Dreskel has been opened. He joins us to talk about a documentary on the life of this unbelievable American saint. Father, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, and it's good to be with you. It's great. Uh, nice Skype, too. I always like when we have good Skype, so you look good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> hey, St. Catherine is a beloved daughter of Pennsylvania, and she founded a community in Ben Salem. Uh, tell us a bit about her roots. And what was it called before Ben Salem? What was it, the town called? Cornwell's Heights. Okay, so tell us a little bit about her roots. Well, St. Catherine was born in Philadelphia to the Drexel family, and she was born into a family of rather significant means. She received a fine education at home, and she traveled the world. And in truth, she never saw herself one day becoming a sister. Although her stepmother raised her to have a very generous heart and generous spirit, she saw herself as being a laywoman who would provide as much as she could for God's people. Well, as she was growing up, she became quite concerned, especially about the plight of African Americans and Native American Indians, especially in the western part of the United States. Her primary concern was that these children did not know Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. While they were being taught the faith, they did not have the experience of the celebration of Mass. And so she went to Rome to plead with the Holy Father for priest missionaries to come to the western part of the United States, especially so that these children might have the celebration of Mass and come to know the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. It was the Holy Father, Pope Leo, who said to her, why don't you do something about this? And this was the beginning of the formation of her religious vocation, which continued with the influence of priest friends in her life, especially Father O'Connor, who later became Bishop O'Connor in Nebraska. And so she went and joined the Sisters of Mercy in Pittsburgh, <clears throat> not to become a Sister of Mercy, but in that community to begin the foundation of the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. That happened in the late 1800s. While she was in formation as a novice, she was building the mother house here in Ben Salem and so after her first profession, she came to Ben Salem, founded the community, and they spread all throughout the United States. Well, fast forward, the community is phasing out. Mm -hmm. They're selling their mother house. They haven't had vocations for a good many years. And so here in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, we received the sacred remains of St. Catherine Drexel, formerly interred at the mother house, and have reinterred them here in our Cathedral Basilica. Beautiful. Uh, Father Gill, uh, we're grateful, along with you, to 6ABC in Philly for airing the documentary, and the underwriters, the Conley Foundation, the Knights of Columbus, certainly uh, yes, Divine and Partners. Can you, can you tell us how all this came together to make it happen? Sure. One of the things that we realized as we were pre preparing to receive the sacred remains of Mother Catherine at the Cathedral is she was not as well known as we had thought. She was known in a very small part of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. We did an informal poll among our grade school students, high school students, and she just wasn't known. And so we thought one of the things that we needed to do in bringing her sacred remains to the cathedral was also to represent her, especially to the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. And so with the financial help of the Conley Foundation and the Knights of Columbus, we were able to put together this documentary with ABC. It's a half hour in length, and I think it captures in a very careful and quick way the life and legacy of St. Catherine Drexel. And is there, is there great excitement there for this, for this opening and for, for what's going on? We're making it exciting, <laughs> okay? Things today, when it comes to saints and even things about the church in general, just don't seem to have the draw that we would want them to have. And so it's very important that we present St. Catherine Drexel for who she is, what she's done, and the inspiration she can have for Christians today 
to live a holy, committed Christian life. And so that's part of our plan, and that's how the documentary came about and fits into our plan. Now, we have seen, thank God, numbers increasing regularly of people coming to visit her tomb, wanting to know more about her and seeking her intercession. Great. But in large part, that's because we're getting the word out as widely as we can about who St. Catherine Drexel is. And we're honored to, in a sense, partner with you in, in a small way. Catholic TV is uh, going to be able to share this remarkable documentary with our viewers. It will premiere on Sunday, November 24th at 1 in the afternoon. We'll keep reminding people of that with rebroadcast that week. But can you share with us uh, how people can learn more about the Shrine? Because, you know, Father Gill, whenever I see you or hear your voice, I always think of the world meeting of families, the visit of the Holy Father, and that Cathedral Basilica is a real destination, and now even more so. How can people learn more? First of all, thank you so much for airing the documentary. I'm really grateful for that. I would say the first thing I, they should do is go to the website, the Cathedral website, which will take them to our Catherine Drexel website. And there's all kinds of information on that website about St. Catherine Drexel, and also all kinds of leads not only as far as making pilgrimages and visiting the shrine, but also things to read and to study, to learn about St. Catherine Drexel. And I'm open to anyone contacting me because we have set up all sorts of internal ways of making Mother more widely known to anybody who contacts us. Well, Father, thank you so much for being with us and to all our viewers in Pennsylvania because we're in different parts of Pennsylvania. Make sure you go to see St. Uh, Catherine Drexel. Thanks for being with us and have a wonderful day. Thank you and God bless you and St. Catherine Drexel, pray for us. Pray, pray for, for us. us.